So let's begin. How is this practice um, different from a cardio workout? Any of you, please jump in. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, in a workout for myself, exercise has been foundational in me building my sense of self. But at the same time, I would set certain standards for myself. And a workout allowed me to understand that in some ways I could decide how I wanted to experience myself, who I wanted to be. And the workout would give me kind of the, the stimulation to prove that I could be who I said that I was. The SAR method is kind of an invitation to invite humility into your experience and stop pretending that you know exactly who you are to stop pretending that you can just make this statement about this is who I am, this is what I do, this is how I think, this is how I move, and instead get to know yourself in this completely new way that allows you to go into the experience without setting a standard, without expectation, without striving for, for perfection in any way. And for me, that was revolutionary. That was the actual empowerment that I was looking for. I related to movement and exercise as an empowered way of being for so many years, but actually I think I was boxing myself in or it was just another way that I was pushing myself too hard. I was trying to get out of my body, right? In exercise, a lot of the time we're trying to get the mind to override the body. We say like mind over matter, mind over matter. And I think that causes a lot more harm than maybe we realize. So for me, the SAR method was a lot of unlearning a lot of undoing and a lot of returning to the body with love and a curiosity and a, and a tenderness rather than the traditional ways of like pushing and striving and forcing my body to do things that you probably never really wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there's a big thing that I also have noticed too in workout classes and in, in my own self too. It's like, if we're not given this specific somatic guidance to be in our bodies as we're moving our bodies, you know, it could just be fun and it could be like sort of this big neurochemical boost and it could be, you know, uh, it could actually have healing properties. But to go into that subtle, deep space where, where healing is actually genuine, where like deep transformation is taking place, what we do in the SAM method which is very different from a from a traditional workout class is everyone is is asked to master being in their bodies no matter what the fuck is going on tracking the sensations tracking the feelings tracking the emotions so many times i've gone to workout class you know i used to go to a uh, soul cycle here in la or bears boot camp and i still do and i love them but the music is super loud the which we do have music in the sound method too so but I'm, what I'm about to say is that the music and the people and the experience, it was so fast paced. It was so much about like, do everything you can to, to, to meet the, this workout standard, but not everything you can to be in your body. Why are you moving your body? You know, and I would notice that I'll, I'll be doing these, these really, really hard workouts, but I would be like grocery shopping in my mind. I'll be tripping about the past. I'll be worrying about the future. I would be thinking about what I was going to have for, for, for lunch later or that event that I needed to get ready to or that talk I had to give. And I was not given the instructions, the healing, somatic, transformative, radical instructions to be in my body as I'm doing the moves, you know. 